and welcome back to the weedy garden again at night time i'm actually not in the weedy garden as such right at this moment i'm about 50 meters away because the garden is up there and i'm standing down here underneath a cluster of flooded gum trees and i'm doing this video really early in the morning while it's quiet because in the daytime it's much too noisy and you can't hear me speak and it's all about what's in this box show you what I got in my box. Very noisy little fella. See there he is, sitting by my microphone. But these ones in the Northern Rivers, New South Wales, Australia, we affectionately call the Black Prince. You want to go and sit on the tree? Huh? See? Some of the black princes, they have red eyes, but this one doesn't have red eyes. This must be the cousin. So I'm going to let it go, put it on the tree. Here you go, fella. Thank you. You stay there tonight. It's noisier than usual this year in this area. And if you're local, you'll know what I'm talking about. These cicadas have spent the last seven years living underground, sucking the sap from the roots of these trees that I'm standing under. A few weeks ago, the whole population emerged simultaneously. There must be millions of them just here in this cluster of gum trees. I can only make about 75 decibels if I yell as loud as I can. hundred and twenty decibels of pure vibration that comes from this little red flap on its underbelly. And on this episode, I'm going to tell you all about the Black Prince. The kookaburras really like them as well. They've crawled up the trunk of these trees which roots have provided them with sugar for all these past seven years. And here they change into their adult costume. They have wings to search for their partner. And now they are up there and the noise makes your ears pulsate. After seven years of living underground, the cicadas are now reaching the climax of their life cycle. And for the males, that means this. Only the males make this sound. The females' sound is totally different. They make a quiet sound by clicking their wings together. It's more like a click of the fingers like that. And they are here only to mate, so they are very determined. Even that they're at plague proportions at the moment, they're not interested in eating. They're more interested in finding a mate and reproducing. And then when they've done that, the female, she will lay her eggs in the branches and they will both die. And the eggs, when they hatch, the little larvae, they fall out of the tree and then land in the ground and burrow down and then attach to the roots again on the tree that their parents grew up on and they suck on the sap and then it's quiet for another seven years. We know that they can feel changes in the sugar levels in the tree's roots so they can determine when a year has gone by but how do they count to seven and why? Nobody knows but it's an incredible event. Another piece of art delivered directly by nature. Oh, he's gone. See that he went. Good on you, mate. Make sure you don't get eaten by a kookaburra. So that's about it for this video, guys and girls and children. Hope you learnt about cicadas. If you've got any more info about cicadas, just drop it in the comments. I'd like to know. The more we know about things, the better, isn't it? Have a nice day, everybody. Catch you later.